what is up you guys welcome back to my channel and of course to another video if you're new here hi my name is Nakwaya and I'm a Namibian youtuber so as you guys can tell by the title of this video today we're reviewing a foundation we're reviewing a new foundation this this is a product that's super new I think it launched maybe a week two weeks ago at most I've had it for no I've had it for two weeks so it launched about two weeks ago and it's by Selena Gomez I won't lie I was shook okay when homegirl said she was launching a beauty line only because I, I just don't associate her with beauty products like that and I never thought or knew that she was like interested in the beauty space in that way but hey she she clearly is and she came out packing like she has a whole line you guys like she didn't just come out with a foundation and a concealer she came out with lip products i know she has a primer she's got concealer she's got um like illuminating uh, liquid illuminators like she's got everything um and so she did that um and i actually picked up the foundation a couple of weeks ago in sephora and i i i really wanted to try it but i also wanted to try it on camera with you guys so you guys can get my natural honest reaction and um yeah um we can review it together so i picked up the it's called the liquid touch weightless foundation and it's described as weightless and breathable all day medium to full coverage that melts into skin to look and feel like you <laughs> okay so basically um so they say this is a weightless foundation it's got a smooth formula that dries to a natural skin like finish and it comes in 48 shades which is good um i love that um makeup brands have now been have taken the hint basically and know that the standard is to have enough shades to cater for everyone i haven't looked at all the shades let me see they look like they have about 10 of each like 10 super fair medium fair dark and then darker um so it's it's well not 10 i think 12 um if my maths is correct um which is okay um so it says it's got a serum like base that makes it easier to blend and build coverage and it evens out your skin tone um no clogging or caking and it lasts all day okay um and it says to shake it really well and less is more only add a second layer where needed okay so i bought the foundation and this is the packaging that it comes in and i got it in the shade 520 w and i'm gonna open it so okay so this is what it looks like and i think i said this in one of my vlogs when i purchased this i love the minimalism of the bottle like it was giving me honestly kim kardashian's mansion vibes like i feel like she has these round crisp clean shapes in her house and so that's what this foundation was giving me so it says to shake it up really really well before you use it Um, by the way, I've already done my brows because we ain't got time um, and I'm gonna open it. So once you open it That's what it comes in like so it's got a doe foot applicator, which is strange for foundation I definitely am a pump kind of girl, but we're not knocking it look as long as it applies your foundation you're good and i suppose a doe foot applicator would work well too because then you don't have to use your finger so maybe she's onto something actually um okay so that's the foundation i'm quickly gonna swatch it on my hand for you guys let me just get that in focus and that's the shade that I got 520 W um, because you guys know I prefer a darker foundation because 
my forehead is darker than some parts of my face but I just prefer to go a shade up as opposed to down because then I can always highlight and use powder and kind of reel it back in so anyway so that's the foundation um, and it's 30 milliliters so one fluid ounce it's made in Canada interesting um, and it retails for $29 which is actually not bad for like a Sephora type foundation. I think that's a good price. Most most higher end foundations are like 30 and 40 dollars. So 29 is actually a good price. Um, I'm gonna look for you guys now where they ship to. Um, currently they're only shipping to the United States um, and US territories. Um, so that's a that's a bit of a drawback. But look, they're a new brands, so maybe they'll sort that out in a couple of months but also launching a new brand in the current pandemic it's also hard to ship internationally so i can imagine and understand why that isn't happening right now but anyway so for primer today i'm going to use my tatcha um the silk canvas primer i haven't used this in a while and i like that this this is one of the primers that also does give me a very weightless vibe so i'm definitely using this because of that like the foundation says it's weightless so baby i'm going to use everything weightless okay so i'm going to apply my primer uh, i'm going to apply a, apply primer and my powder and then i'll be right back Okay guys, it is the moment of truth. I'm about to start applying this foundation. I have, I'm gonna apply it with a beauty blender first. I have a damp beauty sponge here. Um, and I'm just gonna go in and see what happens. I'm definitely someone who applies my foundation by section and first, Thing when I put it on my skin it feels very light it, it feels very very light even it feels like I'm applying an oil or like a serum so baby we don't need to talk. it's blending out really easily I know I look a mess right now but it's blending out quite well um, it's feeling like it's not drying down too fast and you guys know that's my pet peeve when it comes to products when they dry down too fast and you can't work with them properly but this is not doing that and it's very light guys I, I still feel like I have nothing on my skin I guess that's why they're like don't apply a second layer unless necessary because they know people like me will want to go in with some more for the sake of it <laughs> Sorry if I'm making this hard. Now I'm just wondering where we are. Oh my goodness, guys, this foundation is amazing in terms of how it it feels. No, guys, wow. I feel like I have nothing on my skin. What? I don't know how they're doing that right or how they got that right. But it feels like I'm applying nothing. But I can see obviously the color. Like even the conceal, oh wow. I'm pretty sure my concealer that I picked is way, way thicker than this one. Look guys, you guys can see, actually, you know what? Let me tell you, I feel like this foundation is actually too dark for me, which means that I think I'm in between shades because I tried this one and the one before it and it was too light for me. Like it didn't match my forehead, which is why I ended up going for this one because this one matched my forehead. But I see now that it's too light, I mean too dark for my face because it feels like I've put on a mask, like a dark mask. So I feel like I've definitely gotten too dark, but um, there isn't a shade in their range for me, which is fine. You know, maybe this just isn't the product for me, but it's so good. I might just buy the one before it and then mix the two to see if that will work. Um, because it feels really good and it blends out. Oh, sorry. It blends out really, really well. Like you guys, I'm using a beauty blender. You know, when you use a beauty blender, it takes a lot longer to blend your foundation. But I did that so quickly 
and sew flawlessly yeah this is too dark but it's okay because we've got that's why we have concealers okay that's why we have concealers but this foundation looks really really or feels really good it looks good outside of being too dark it looks good it looks flawless mm, i think depending on its performance in terms of all day wear this might be my new foundation pick especially like because as much as i love foundation as the next girl like oh guys of late i really don't like full coverage full face bead vibes anymore maybe i'm too old i don't know like it's just not my vibe anymore um and also i just don't have time but this i could live with this like i'm here for all of this see the mm. yeah i thought it would blend out better into my skin but it's okay we can fix it but this is so so far so good um it doesn't say it's yeah okay i'm gonna go in with the Too faced um born this way concealer which i feel so bad about because i feel like this is so much heavier than the foundation um i'm actually now inclined to actually go pick up uh, a better shade of the foundation the shade below and then i'm also gonna get a concealer like i'm sold i'm sorry your girl is sold the video is not even over i'm quickly gonna blend out my concealer put on some powder contour and everything just to see how everything blends together and see like you know whether it works together because that's the thing with foundation sometimes they just don't play well with other friends so i'm gonna quickly do that and speed through the rest of this i'm playing beyonce so excuse the face expressions if you catch them um i'll be right back Okay, I did pretty much the rest of my face and let me tell you guys I am shook by first of all how I feel like I have nothing on my face okay like my face feels super light so weightless check okay the coverage is actually pretty good my test for coverage I have this one little dark mark here and that's like my test for coverage if it's gone then i'm good with that coverage um all the other products work worked so well with this this foundation guys like i feel like they're even performing better than what they usually do which is like again sell it to me i'm gonna buy it i'm going to sephora tomorrow and i'm buying more like this is my foundation guys i think of the foundations and uh complexion products that i've tried this year i'm gonna go out and say this is my favorite you guys can tell look at my skin again flawless um it looks pretty matte right um but i didn't use a mattifying primer i just used powder and then of course i did um yeah just powder because i did like the tatcha is not a, a, a mattifying primer um, I just did powder and look at that like listen I am gonna go off camera fix my eyes and my lips and come right back and let you guys know the score for this one you guys already know but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna come back okay okay guys so I am back faces did lips are done lashes are on and I am feeling myself in this foundation with my little ponytail like I just feel like this foundation is such a fire foundation it's actually I'm actually so sorry because the sun is setting so i feel like my lighting has changed i hope it hasn't changed too much and you guys can still get the full experience of this foundation but it's such a good foundation you guys especially if you're the type of person who doesn't like to wear makeup because you feel like it's too heavy and all of that stuff then this 
is the perfect foundation for you i promise you like it feels so good on your skin um if you are looking for a lightweight and because it's medium coverage you can literally use it on an everyday basis if that's that's what you're into you can definitely do that like i feel like it's so beautiful guys this is such a good foundation like this is the kind of makeup your girl lives for like very light very just easy going no stress blending is a dream and i don't know what that serum concoction in there is but it feels amazing on your skin it doesn't feel like your skin is dried out or it's tugging it's amazing i'm gonna give the foundation a 10 out of 10. 10 because it deserves it okay selena i'm so sorry i bow down at your feet girl okay come through mm. and i did the red lip because i did the red lip and the middle part because on her promo picture let me show it to you guys on her on her promo picture for her brand that's kind of the vibe she's giving so yeah i kind of wanted to recreate a little bit of that with the side part and the red lip but a red lip is not my thing guys and this is the end of this video i am rambling thank you guys so much for watching um please make sure you're subscribed uh, make sure that you're following me on instagram and tell your friends to follow me because you know let's share in all of this makeup goodness you guys can't keep a good thing to yourself <laughs> guys i don't know how to wink like it, it i have to think about it before i actually do it because if i just do it spontaneously it looks like i'm going crazy but anyway thank you guys so much for watching um i'll see you guys in my next video